I'm going to show you how to clone your drive with Macrium Reflect. And for this method, you're either going to need your laptop or computer with two SSD slots, or you're going to have to get yourself one of these external NVMe docking stations. All right, let's get started. So to create a clone of your computer, what I do is I actually use a little software called Macrium Reflect. Now Macrium Reflect is not free, but if you look for it enough, they used to have a Macrium Reflect uh, a free version a long time ago, and that software actually still exists. You just have to kind of look for it, and I will provide you a link on where to get this yourself. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and install Macrium Reflect free version here. Let me install the setup, accept the agreements, click yes. And of course, this is gonna ask you if it's a personal use copy or if it's a commercial use. We're gonna go for personal use because we are only gonna be using it on our, on our system here. So once it's finished, it's gonna give you the option to launch. We're gonna click on finish and it will ask you if you want to uh, launch it and verify. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. So now that we have this installed, I'm gonna show you the other item that I have that I use. This is gonna be an external NVMe docking station. So this will allow me to connect this to my laptop and then plug in my NVMe that I'm trying to clone to right there. This is gonna sit just like this. And once I plug it in, it should actually pop up over there once I click refresh here. Click refresh and there's my drive. Now that both of our drives are actually showing, uh, we're gonna make sure that we click on our OS drive that we're trying to clone from and click on clone this disc. Then it's gonna ha have us select the disc that we are going to clone to, which is gonna be our one terabyte. And then we're gonna make sure that we click on erase disc. It's gonna erase our, our destination drive. And we're gonna click on copy partitions and then shrink or extend to fill the target disc. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a carbon copy of the original drive, including all of the partitions and how they are um, placed. Once we do that, we click on next. And if we have BitLocker, it's going to tell us the drive will be cloned without enabling BitLocker on the target. Click OK. Um, click next on this window. And then click finish. And for this one, we're going to unselect save as backup de definition file because we don't need to continuously uh, make this clone. We're just going to run this backup one time this time. Click OK. And it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite all of the data on our destination drive. Yes, we want to delete everything on there and click continue. And now we just wait for this to finish. So the cool thing about actually cloning your drive to the other drive is that the computer is going to see the new drive as if it was the original drive. So there's, you're not going to lose any data. You're not going to miss anything. It's not going to be a fresh copy. It's going to be exactly what you had on there before onto the new drive and the computer is not going to know any better. So this also saves you a lot of time because you don't have to actually install all of your applications back in. It's just all there like your original drive. All right, so I think it is finished now. Um, we have a window that's going to pop up. There's going to be all of your files. We can exit out of there. And it says that the clone has completed. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to close out of all of this. So now that that's done, all we have to do is literally take this drive, install it into our laptop, and it's done. Once you boot back into it, it'll be exactly how you left it, except with a bigger drive. I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure you take care of yourself and others. See you in the next one.